हेलो वेलकम ऑल वेलकम टू वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ Z ट्रांसफॉर्म माई सेल्फ मिस्टर एस एन चमत गौडर फ्रॉम वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ Z ट्रांसफॉर्म द वेरियस प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द Z ट्रांसफॉर्म आर एज लिस्टेड बिलो linearity time shifting scaling in the z domain time reversal the convolution property and differentiation in the z domain now let us discuss the convolution property the convolution property states that if x1 of n is a discrete time signal then z transform of x1 of n is equal to x1 of z with roc is equal to r1 similarly if x2 of n is a discrete time signal then z transform of x2 of n is equal to x2 of z with roc is equal to r2 then x1 of n convolved x2 of n be a discrete time signal then z transform of x1 of n convolved x2 of n is equal to x1 of z into x2 of z with roc is equal to r1 intersecting r2 so let us prove this one we know that x of z is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z to the power minus n where x of n is equal to x1 of n convolved x2 of n now we all know that the definition of convolution between two signals x1 of n and x2 of n now pause the video for some time and recall the definition of convolution between two signals x1 of n and x2 of n i hope you have recalled the convolution definition here x1 of n convolved x2 of n is defined as summation k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k x1 of k into x2 of n minus k so this is the definition of convolution convolution here so we substitute x of n is equal to summation k equal to minus infinity to infinity x1 of k into x2 of n minus k in the above expression x of z here so this will be written as summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity summation k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k x1 of k x1 of k into x2 of n minus k into z to the power minus n so let me put this summation inside the bracket here now by ordering the summation here we can write this one as k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x1 of k into summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity x2 of n minus k into z to the power minus n now let us put n minus k is equal to l here so n is equal to l plus k and minus n is equal to 
minus n is equal to minus l minus k. Similarly, n is equal to minus infinity, minus n is equal to plus infinity, n is equal to minus infinity, n minus k is equal to minus infinity minus k and n minus k is replaced by l. So, l is equal to minus infinity. Subtracting k from minus infinity will not affect the infinite value. So, it will remain same that is minus infinity. Now, n is equal to plus infinity, n minus k is equal to plus infinity minus k. Now, replace n minus k by l. So, l is L is equal to plus infinity. Subtracting k from plus infinity will not affect the plus infinite value. So, L is equal to plus infinity. Now, we substitute these L is equal to plus infinity, L is equal to minus infinity, minus n is equal to minus L minus k and n minus k is equal to L in the above expression. So, this will be written as summation k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x1 of k summation L is equal to minus infinity to infinity x2 of L z to the power minus L minus k. So, this will be written as summation k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x1 of k summation L is equal to minus infinity to infinity x2 of L z to the power minus L into z to the power minus k. So, this will be written as summation k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x 1 of k z to the power minus k into summation L is equal to minus infinity to infinity x 2 of L z to the power minus L. We know that summation k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x 1 of k into z to the power minus k is equal to x 1 of z and summation l equal to minus infinity to infinity x 2 of l into z to the power minus l is equal to x 2 of z. Hence, proved. Next, we discuss the property scaling in z domain. This property states that if x of n is a discrete time signal and z transform of x of n is equal to x of z with ROC equal to R, then z naught to the power n x of n be a discrete time signal, then z transform of z naught to the power n x of n is equal to x of z divided by z naught with ROC equal to mod z naught into R. Let us prove this one. We know that x of z is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z to the power minus n, where x of n is equal to z naught to the power n into x of n. By substituting x of n is equal to z naught to the power n x of n in the above expression, x of z will be written as summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity z naught to the power n into x of n into z to the power minus n here. So, this will be written as summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z naught to the power n into z to the power minus n. This will be written as summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n into z naught into z inverse to the power n. This will be written as summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity 
x of n z not inverse into z to the power minus n. So, summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n into z not inverse into z to the power minus n is nothing but x of z not inverse into z which is also written as x of z divided by z naught. Hence, proved. These are the references. Thank you.